Happiness is not a destination, it's a mode of travel. Happiness is, is how you decide you go through life. And um, perfect example, the people of Spain. You know, you, you see people who are no doubt going through a very difficult time. But how they're traveling through that time right now is so amazing, is so admirable. You know, the people of Spain come out every evening at eight o'clock and they clap for their first responders. They show gratitude to the people who, even though they're going through the same things, have it a little bit worse than them who are just being asked to stay at home. You know, um, you know the people of Spain, they get out there and I, you see they're, they're having neighborhood parties on their banisters, you know, they're coming out and they're 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 they're, they're talking to each other. They're singing back and forth. You know, I, I saw a friend of mine who's Spanish. He showed me that uh, there's a whole page now that they're actually scheduling. You know, uh, uh, different people from different banisters playing music and doing different things, and it's fantastic because once again they're showing you that regardless of the situation, you can still find happiness because happiness resides inside of us. Happiness is not predicated on your situation. Happiness is not a place that you get to because what you'll find is no matter where you get in life, there will always be challenges. That's what I found about my life. That's why I decided that I was going to be happy regardless of whatever challenges I was facing because happiness comes from the inside. Like I always tell people, Pat, you, you carry your own happiness in your back pocket. All you have to do is reach back and slap it on your chest because you know what? There is not going to be a situation in life that you're going to encounter that you will not have challenges. There's not going to be a situation in life, a time in life where everything is going to be absolutely fantastic. And if you think it is absolutely fantastic, you just haven't looked around well enough yet because there's always something. But that does not have to dictate your happiness, your 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 joy, your 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 fullness of life. Okay? Those things come from inside of you not predicated on a situation. So even right now, as dire as the situation is that we see, and you know what? Let's be honest, it may be even worse down the road. It is not going to change my choice to be happy, okay? As I said to you guys before, I've seen a lot of different things in my life. I've seen some, some really bad things and I've seen some great things, all right? But my happiness, once I learned that, has never wavered. Because I can always be grateful for the things that I do have, grateful for, for, the, for, the, for the great things I have. I'm also grateful for the problems I do not have. You know, you know, I, you know I, I sat there today, I was listening to the news. Imagine being a doctor and having to be the one to make a decision to take a respirator from somebody to give it to another person. I'm happy I'm not that person. Okay. And I'm sure that doctor is happy he's not the person who the respirator, respirator is being taken from. You know, happiness is a choice, guys. You know, and especially right now with what the world is going through, because once again, it's not just you. All right. The entire world is going through this. And, I, and, I, and, and for, for a good, for a, a part of me, it's, it's, it's not, not really glad the world is going through this. But a part of me says I think the world had to see something like this. You know, because this situation is bringing everybody together. Nobody's talking about rich and poor right now. Okay. And yeah, some, maybe some rich people might have access to certain things, you know, but once that, once that virus catches you, it's a, it's a great equalizer because everybody is being impacted pretty equally across the board. And if you haven't yet, you will, you will. If you don't know somebody who has been impacted by this yet, you will. All right. But you should not let this interfere with your ability to be happy, to be grateful. OK. And to understand that you control your happiness, not a situation. You control that. You know, and, I, and like I said, once again, going back to the people of Spain and Italy, they're showing you that, you know, I mean, they're, they're, they're having a really rough time over there. You know, they're having a really rough time. You know, I, I saw a video uh, a friend of mine shared with me, you know, hospitals and uh, there's a hospital in Madrid, I believe, that they don't, they, they've, run, they've run out of bed. So people are actually laying on the floor. Okay. 
And mind you, now we're talking about a great country that has a great health care system. But yet the people are able to pull their spirits together and be happy. Celebrate life. Don't get me wrong, there's a lot of death around them. But once again, they're making a the choice to celebrate life. Imagine people losing family members and not even being able to see them. They're not allowed to see their family members, to go and say goodbye when these people are definitely on their deathbed. And yet they choose to be happy. Yet they choose to celebrate life. Yet they choose to celebrate the people who are sacrificing for them. Once again, all these things are choices. And I think that, uh, you know, I think for, if, if for no other country in the world, I think America needs this to understand, to put more value in human beings, to put more value in things that really matter, camaraderie, friendship, love, real happiness, not so much materialistic things, to lose some of the arrogance, to realize that it can take something that simple, that small, you know, to put you on a level with everyone else. You know, and I said it about a couple weeks ago, you know, when I was telling, when I was warning people about this, that it was coming our way. You know, when it was in China, everybody didn't, nobody, most people in America didn't care. As a matter of fact, some people mocked them. You know, and there's an old saying about, you know, when your neighbor three doors down, his house is burning. If you don't help them, you know. It's coming to your next door neighbor. And after it comes to your next door neighbor, it's coming to you. And when you didn't help the other two, no one will be around to help you. This is a lesson to the entire world that we all live on the same planet and we all have the same issues. Even if it doesn't look like we're connected. All right. So, you know, um, once again, like I said, um, I admire the people of Spain. I admire, I think they, I think they're setting a tone and I love the way that they're setting a tone for the rest of the world because unfortunately, you know, where first of all, this started in Italy, but unfortunately, um, this wave, the wave that we see going on in Italy, going on in Spain, um, unfortunately that is coming here. And I hope that we'll be able to learn the spirit and how to handle it because I do believe we will go through it. It's just how we go through it. Are we going to be grateful for the things that we have? Are we going to learn gratitude? Are we going to learn to work together? Are we going to learn how to be in harmony with each, with each other, even, even through, through difficult times? Or are we going to sit around and waste our lives waiting for a better day? waiting to get to another point before we be happy. Because something tells me this is just the first of many that's coming our way. You know, many, many, many people have warned us for years about these super bugs that are, that are, that are coming our way. You know, will you adjust your life? Will you learn how to be happy in spite of your situations, in spite of the circumstances because that's what true happiness is. Once again, happiness is not a destination. It's a mode of travel. It's how you go about your life. How you choose to view your situations. Me personally, I choose to view my situations with gratitude. I choose to view my situations with hope. I choose to see the brighter side of things every day. And that's why I'm always happy. That's why I have that smile all the time, because I do realize that, you know what? That is my choice. And it's all about perspective. And by no means am I delusional. Because I've seen the real side of life many a times and it can be ugly. But just like a rose, I can either look at the flower or the thorn. And I tend to look at the, th at the flower. I'm aware of the thorns, though, but I look at the flower. All right. And you guys should do the same. So happy Friday to you guys. Uh, once again, make that choice. All right. Choose to travel in that mode. 
choose to look at the brighter side of things. Don't ignore the dark side of things, but, you know, focus on the brighter side.